Okay, so here we're going to do the while and the do while loop. Okay, so while and we're going to do 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 while. Okay, so this is how we start. We start the same way as before. Include the main and we've opened the braces as well. We're going to declare. Let me just remove this bit here, so we doesn't sort of get into the code and then start getting all these error messages later on. So we're going to declare three um, variables, integer variables. A, we're going to give it a value of 30. We're going to have a B equals 15. And we're going to have an I equals 3. I'll show you how we're going to use that in a minute. We open the while statement we say i is greater than zero so as long as the i is greater than zero it will start it will execute what's inside the curly braces which is in here okay so we say a and if you recall from a previous lesson i said the minus equals a is basically a minus ten so instead of writing a equals a minus ten we just write the minus 10 at minus equals 10 and that will subtract 10 and we also do the minus b1 as well so we minus 5 so we're subtracting 5 from b and we also put minus minus which basically reduces by 1 each cycle so in here uh, while the i is greater than zero it will keep reducing by one every time this cycles and it will reduce b by five and it would reduce a by ten so it keeps reducing a by ten b by five and i would reduce by one that bit is clear so we just print printf variables yeah, variables variable that variable a is percent d variable b is percent d because they're all whole integer values and we're gonna do a new line percent uh, quotation marks and then we're gonna put a and b notice I didn't actually put the i because i is the counter the counter inside the, the while loop okay so i is counting every time it's reducing by one counting down and while that's happening it's reducing the value of a and b and it should start to print out exactly the same way as the for loop so we've put an extra curly brace there so that's that's that program finished now so we're just going to save that save as while and we save and this time we're just going to build if it runs correctly yep nothing's wrong there and now we just go to the command prompt so we got the command prompt and we put while and it says here variable a is 20 variable b is 10 and a is 10 variable b is 5 uh, yeah i is 5 and uh, vari uh, variable uh, is 0 and uh, variable b is 0 that should be an is there so that put that as is save and we'll come build so we build that close that bit here do that quickly and just run it again so it says is yep that's correct so we'll just consistency let's keep it clear okay we're going to move on to the do while loop now so what's the difference here so we got the a we're going to have use the a a zero and we're going to have an i so there's going to be two variables and now we're going to start in reverse what we're going to have the do at the top do something and keep doing it until it's no longer true so we, we're going to start off by let's clear all this off first make the screen clearer for you and we're going to pl plus plus a so now it's going to increment a 
by one every time and is going to increment i by one so now i and a is increasing and he's going to print f variable a is let's correct that a is percent d quotation marks and we'll put an a and now that's printed that variable yeah, the result of that and you're going to put a while at the end now i is less than one so while well, i is less than one it does that and it just keeps cycling so it would actually run at least once and then it would stop once i is less than one in this case it probably won't stop isn't it it'll probably just run once and that's it so let's just test it and see what happens so we save as well two and we say build look there's an error message in line 18 so let's examine where did we go wrong okay you notice you we probably place an extra one here so that one's closed that belongs to that and that one belongs to the main so that's probably what we did wrong so let's check yep that's correct it was right now we go to the command prompt oh it seems like we've closed it so we just open it from the start cd put cd program no not c programming c examples within it and we say while two and it says a variable a is one so we see here that um, basically this, the the program just ran once simply because it was started at zero and it incremented by one so now uh, that is false and uh, it, it ran once if this was up there it wouldn't have basically uh, well it would have ran once as well unless the i if we did the increment as one then it won't be less than one and it won't, wouldn't have run at all but it incremented the i here made it one therefore one is not less than one and it stops so it's only executed once if we put that as a larger number we put that five it would have ran at least four times okay so that's clear so now we'll move on to the next lesson